All right, everybody, welcome to episode five of House of Danger. Welcome back, everybody. What's going to happen? The penultimate episode. Oh, will we finally talk to the aliens? There's no such things as aliens. What? Where do we live? Will the chimps leave the compound and form a... We should build a Congress? wall. Congress? Keep these Commune. aliens out. A group of chimpanzee or gorillas is called a Congress. Did you know that? I did not know that. Okay, yes. What? The penultimate chapter five. Chapter five. I got a thing. We all have things. <laughs> I gotta go use mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have to redo the intro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's staying in. <laughs> chapter five. The Invasion. You've crossed the deadly estate surrounding the Marzen House, come face to face with spirits from beyond the grave, and found yourself at the mercy of strange scientific experiments. You fought oversized superintelligent chimpanzees, freed them from mind control, and discovered a counterfeiting ring. Along the way, now a fleet of UFOs is barreling towards <laughs> Earth, and unless you can free the imprisoned alien ambassador before they arrive, the entire planet is doomed. Oh, no. That's okay. We've already done enough damage. It's it's our penance. The alien is locked away in the old prison beneath the mansion, Professor Marsden says. It's a dangerous labyrinth and not easily navigated. What are you talking about? There are three cells in that place. We were there 45 minutes ago. That's the new prison, the professor says where antisocial chimpanzees are held until they can be rehabilitated. The entire compound is built over the ruins of the old prison, which burnt down more than a century ago. My great-great-grandfather was the warden. You remember your strange out-of-body visions in the elevator, and the deep sense of foreboding that came with them. We should never have put him down there, the professor said. <laughs> We should never put him down there, the professor says. The prison has always been a horrible, cursed place. But now that the creature has found a way to make contact with the world outside his cell. Wait a minute, you say. This alien ambassador isn't just responsible for my nightmares, is he? The alien was the one who called me this morning. But how did he even find me? The phone book is full of private investigators with far more experience than I have. You suddenly remember... However, that your Yellow Pages ad doesn't list you as an inspiring detective. It lists you as a psychic investigator. What? What? I bet he gets a lot of jobs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Psych. What's up, Sean? <laughs> What's up, Gus? <laughs> I'll find the alien, you say. Reassure yourself as much as the professor. I was born to do this. Before you can respond, the professor notices something on the mainframe console and gasps. The alien armada will enter the Earth's atmosphere in just 20 minutes. You must find the alien bastard and free him quickly, or all is lost. Draw Clue 108 to discover your gold. Clue 108, drawing. You don't have Clue 108. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the rubber band either, so <laughs> kiss my A. Chapter 5 Goal. Release Family the friendly ass. <laughs> An attempt to save planet Earth from getting bungholed. Let's Bung just uh, let it happen. Welcome annihilation. Are you threatening me? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, you say. You've been down there before, right? Do you have a map? No. You Carol handed it all. Carol. Carol handed all that. All I know is there's no two ways to get out of the structure. Through the original prison entrance, through the back of the house, and through a long, dark hallway that I've always been too afraid to investigate. Don't forget, keep your earpiece tuned on. Keep your earpiece turned on so we can communicate. We have earpieces. What do you have an earpiece? He uh, gave us one in the observatory. Did he really? I read really fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so like, long ago, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> if you head to the prison entrance, go to story card one twenty-seven. If you think the hallway is a better bet. Go to story card 133. Prison. Yeah, I'm, let's go there. I'm too fragile to go to prison. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's not fragile, yeah, it's pretty. I agree. You know what they do to guys like me in prison? <laughs> I love it. Watch your car in a hole. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. 
You find the entrance to the old prison through the abandoned section of the house. The boards that were nailed up to keep people out of the mostly <clears throat> rotted away, and they were put up at least 50 years after the fire. You can hardly imagine that what kind of shape the prison itself is in. You pry the boards off and carefully step into the room. This must have been some kind of check-in area for prison guards and other employees. There's a large hole carved in one wall, which opens into a rough stone tunnel. There are also two doors, but only the wooden one opens. And the other is sealed tight with an unusual lock that has a small, round, gem-shaped indention where the keyhole ought to be. We have a key! We do have a key. But mm-hmm. there's no keyhole? If you have clue 50... Nope. Nope. Fail. Epic fail. Use it to open the car, the locked door. If you crawl through the hole in the wall, go to story card 142. And if you try the wooden door, go to 126. I think we should try the wooden door first. Seems logical. I was yeah. going to say, that's a logical choice, but I kind of want to crawl into the hole. But I'll go with the door. <laughs> I'm sure I, there's going to be some reason for us to have to we, crawl through the door. I, I, yeah. I vote we go in the door. You we find yourself in a room filled with old filing cabinets. Oh, God, we're so dead. So awesome. We're in the records room. We're dead. They're metal. So they made it through metal. the fire <laughs> that destroyed the prison so <laughs> long ago without too much damage. They're also lying around the room all on their own, slamming open and shut at mm-hmm. random intervals. You now realize why Professor Mars had never wanted to come down here. This place is super haunted! There's a burnt-out hallway on the other side of the room, as well as an old rope and pulley elevator that servants might have used. But you're going to have to get past a bunch of angry filing cabinets to get to the a- to get to either exit. Ripwire challenge! Dodge the flying file cabinets! Win, lower danger meter by three. Lose, raise danger meter by three. I'll roll. What kind roll. of challenge is it? Foot. Foot challenge. Do we have any feet? Yep. Plus two. Yeah. Fail. Six. <laughs> Yay, we made it. Yay. Yay, we made it. We did it, guys. Yay. Woo. If you head Yay. down the hallway, go to story card 130. God, you take we are the rope quiet. You made a roll. Out. We're quiet. God. <laughs> Draw a clue. 118. Try it. You 118. Get clue, or you want to go down the hallway? Middle. Pulley. Pull a 118. Pull my 118. <laughs> you climb inside the elevator and grab the rope dangling in front of you. As you pull down sharply, then again and again, the elevator slowly descends. Finally, you reach the next floor down. Step out the elevator and walk into the room. Go to story card 131. You win! We won! Woohoo! Game over. Nicks are always short. <laughs> the room is filled with sheets and blankets that have apparently been brought to life somehow. They're floating through the air like some sort of phony ghost you might have Cut seen em. in elementary school. Slap it. Burn them. It's the least scary thing you've ever seen. <laughs> this whole time Pretty you've much. been exploring the Marsden residence and possibly your entire life. There are quite a few of them, although. There are quite a few of them, though, which makes it hard to get a clear view on the room. As you stumble through, you get a sock in the face by blankets over and over again. Ow, 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 oh, it hurts so bad. Ow, oh, it hurts. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Ow, God. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Ow, ow. No, you not sense, right there. You sense that there might be something Jeez. valuable in here. It could be worthwhile to search the room. Not the face. Optional challenge. Dodge the floating sheets and search the room. Win. Draw clue 180, 127. Lose. Raise danger meter by two. All right. What kind of challenge is it? Anything? But what? Okay, so it's plus two, Shannon. Nice. Six. All right. Draw clue 127. There is the danger meter not moving? Not nope. yet. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> we found another battery. You find a nine volt battery on the battery. corner. <laughs> Woo! It could power a flashlight or a taser. Or this how long's it been <laughs> down here? Thing. In, the in a room full of blankets, I think we know what that's for. We'll say it's. It, we'll say it looks like a uh, lightsaber since it's a family-friendly show. What brand of battery? Or who knows what else? <laughs> it looks like a energizer. 
for it herself. I lick I'm it. I'm not buying it. She's gonna lick it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like lube. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> lube. Like WD-40. Yeah. Like oil. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. I wasn't thinking family friendly. I apologize. Not Astroglide. <laughs> I don't use that stuff. Mommy, we, we what's Astroglide? The There's an open entryway through which you can see the steam heat generator in a boiler room. To the right of the entryway is a long handled door of a laundry chute. If you go to the boiler room, go to card story. That's where Freddy Krueger's at. Let's go to the laundry chute. Jump down the chute, 154. Jump down the chute! Boiler room. That's not as fun. Laundry shoot. I'm shoot. already outvoted. Laundry shoot. I'm already outvoted, so it's not going to matter. <laughs> she could have evened it. She could have, but she's not going to take my side. <laughs> <sighs> you crawl inside and quickly find that it's impossible to get any traction. You tumble and slide down. What a about stupid 30 idea! Feet, right <laughs> in the old prison incinerator. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> the good news is it hasn't been lit for over a century. The bad news Yay. is the ghosts of a whole bunch of people who were killed by burning gather in one place. You often see a phenomenon that res that paranormal researchers call ghost fire. Couldn't it be more like Saint Elmo's fire? Elmo, I believe. <laughs> and you may not know this, but ghost fire burns like crazy. <laughs> the end. Move like back three itch? spaces on the second scale <laughs> and return to your previous Christ. card. Way to go, guys! <laughs> Way to go! I said the boiler room. You guys said to shoot. Now we're dead. Thanks. <laughs> go to the it boiler room. Like one twenty-two. Yeah, burning what up. What happens if we're on zero You were on right the for scale. once. <laughs> burning up is so much Relish fun. Relish it. It's all recorded. I was right. Hopefully, this, this episode won't right. be lost. You <laughs> and, were. I right. I want it known. You're fucking phenomenal. That on Thursday. I'm sorry, you're effing phenomenal. January 24th at 7.47 p.m., Kirk was proved it's only right. It's 7.47. Card 122. There's a massive furnace here. It doesn't work anymore, God. but it survived the fire in good condition otherwise. The rest of the room is empty. You don't even see any ghosts, but some impulse tells you to look closer at the furnace. You spot something shiny inside. You can't tell what it's from where you're standing, but there's a room to crawl inside. That huge furnace, you're curious. This is your furnace room. Take it. Get in it's there. It's like the Home Alone furnace. It does look like the Home Alone If you alone try furnace. to grab the shiny thing inside the furnace... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> go to story card 154. If you leave the furnace alone and head to the next room, go to 138. You better grab that shit. I'll try to grab the shit. Yeah! Thing. I hope it's a bear trap. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Takes off your fingers. Probably will. Probably kill Seriously? Us all. 154? Really? We're gonna kill it. It's gonna kill us. Wait, you can't find it? No. Here we are. <laughs> you crawl inside and quickly find that it's possible to get any traction. You tumble and slide down about 30 feet right into the old prison incinerator. <laughs> The good news is that it hasn't been lit in over a century. The bad news is what <laughs> is that when the ghosts of a whole bunch of people who are killed by burning get in one place, you often see a phenomenon it's really that paranormal bad. researchers call it ghost fire. Ghost fire burns, motherfucker! I'm, ah! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Oh god! Way I'm to kill fire. us! You were right for three minutes. Three, three minutes. Your, your correct. Your correction there is struck because it led to our death. I was bullied into going and getting it. <laughs> Struck. Go back to card 138. All right. What yeah. happened when we die? We lose psychic stuff? Yes, but we can't because we're just... <laughs> down we're, to one. We're down to one. <laughs> <laughs> you just stop now. All right, the professor... <laughs> The professor's voice comes over your communication earpiece. Where's my cock? <laughs> Watch out! That is the section of the prison where the most dangerous inmates are out! And one of the cells looks like it's been remodeled quite recently. It has lead panels <laughs> covering some of the original bars. <laughs> but though a small opening in the door, you see a crystalline entity levitating on the floor, <laughs> moaning softly. Uh, 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 uh. 
It's the alien ambassador. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is Professor Marston doing with it? At the top of the door, just below the ceiling, you see a high tech look. God damn it. At the top of the door, you see the ceiling. You see a high tech lock behind a thick layer of transparent material. Transparent aluminum? If you had something like a revolver, you could try shooting the lock open. It would probably take a really careful aim and a really steady hand. I ain't rolling. Tear gas. <laughs> yeah, <that's> Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to have to find another way into the cell. We have a key. We do have a key. We have a skeleton key. Require a challenge only if you have clue 63. Shit. Shoot. Nope. Uh, if you do not have clue 63, continue reading. There's a burned out corridor leading away from this area. Follow the corridor and see where it leads by going to star card 141. <laughs> <laughs> this is the old cafeteria, and dozens of ghost prisoners are milling around, along with a one frail looking female specter in tattered dress. At last, she says when she sees you, I have finally made contact with the other side. Uh, hi, you say. Uh, she puts a translucent hand on yours. I am the How's medium charged with shepherding the good lost spirits of their final resting places. Go forward to the light. Oh, Jesus. You don't belong nope. here with us. Don't go to the light, Caroline. But I'm, uh, but you're, you, you finally decide it's not worth arguing with her about which one of you is dead. The wall here is in bad shape. Two died. holes big enough for you to fit in. Um. <laughs> one hole is We're not going to touch that one. <laughs> One hole is pitch black, and the other one is lit up with a green light. Don't go. Don't put it out with your boots, Ted. Go into the light. The ghost screams <laughs> as you contemplate your chances. Don't tell me what to do, devil woman. <laughs> Apparently, the hole is only big enough for a finger. <laughs> if you go into the dark hole, <laughs> if you go to the dark hole, it's only pelvis height. <laughs> If you go into the dark hole, go to story card 135. If we go in the pink hole. <laughs> if you go into the slit, up, 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 hole. Family friendly's out the window go now. It's not my fault. I say we go into the dark hole. Dark hole. hole. <laughs> okay, let's oh, go yeah. to the dark hole. Dark hole. We need that lube. <laughs> Is it a tight fit? <laughs> Or is it like throwing a hot dog down the hallway? <laughs> Why does it have duct tape around it? <laughs> oh my god. The tunnel leads to an exit high up on the wall of a large lead lined prison cell. Beneath you, the crystalline form of the. Chris. <sighs> the Chrysalic <sighs> Ambassador lies motionless on the floor. The Ambassador <sighs> looks up, sees you, and sends a telepathic message directly into your frontal lobes. <laughs> <laughs> Creature can pass through my impenetrable walls of my prison, he transmits. Whoever you are, have mercy and free me from this, too. <laughs> impenetrable walls? It's a tunnel, you'd think back at him. Have you even tried escaping? How long have you been down here? I am greatly weakened from my ordeal, the ambassador thinks at you. <laughs> also, it's really dark. <laughs> The only way out of the cell is back the way you came. So if you want to take the ambassador back to the surface with you, you're going to have to lift him into the tunnel. He is quite heavy. How heavy? Require challenge! Give the ambassador a boost. Can't that lazy asshole crawl himself? It's a... Stab him! It's a bicep. Anybody? You only got to hit a five or six. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Lower the danger meter by five and go to story Holy card 446. Holy balls! I only roll yes. really well when it's a group effort. Yes! Yes! Oh, we needed that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> now we're only at a 50-50 we're shot. We're still only on level one of the psychic scale. Huh, what do I? Thanks. Hey! We were all the way to level five. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you dragged the crystalline alien back to the security room where the professor waits. On a monitor, you can see a giant UFO entering Earth's atmosphere. Hurry, the professor says oh in a panic. Oh my god! The armada is almost upon us! The alien ambassador rushes to the console. He pushes a button and makes a series of harsh noises only you can assume 
you can only assume is his native language. If you have clue 90. We do. You guys were in unison. That was very disturbing. We do have clue 90. (laughs) And our level 1 through 3 on the psychic scale draw 112. We are 1 through 3. Oh, it Sonya. might have worked out. 112, Sonia. 112. 112, Sonia. 112. 112. 112. 112. 112. 112. 112. 112. The pendant glows and makes a soft noise, so you bring it closer to your ear. It's the alien translator. As your ambassador screeches away, you hear the oh, following my, translation my in plain English. Am I on foolish? You always suspect another room. What? What? Huh? I forgot huh? how to do the voice. The vile and foolish humans suspect nothing. Proceed. Oh, wait, I, oh, there's a period. Okay. <laughs> the vile and foolish humans suspect nothing. Proceed with planetary exterminations. I repeat. Kill them all. Oh, God. Way to let him out. I need pudding before I die. When he's finished, the alien sends you a telepathic message. Apple source. Message. I have contacted my people! All is well! So now what, you ask? Go outside and await our arrival! He transmits. Do not fear them! We have forgiven all your transgressions and will not murder you or the rest of your species. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> species. I don't want to be probed. If you are level 5 on the psychic scale, eh, nope. Nope. You are level 2 to 4? Nope. Nope. You are level 2 to 4 on the psychic... Nope. Nope. If you are level 1 on the psychic scale... Tr- Draw clue 119. 119, Sonia. 119. 119. You know what the ambassador said? Wait. What? That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the ambassador said, but something's giving you a funny feeling about it. Go to card 140. Are you sure everything's fine, you ask? Because the way you said it doesn't really sound like it's fine. The alien arranges his face into what might... My- what might be a crystalline scowl. Fine! Fine! Do you mean to ask whatever it's fine that I was locked in a dungeon for years? Probe them all! Well, your people tore my ship to pieces and store technology you and not advanced enough to use or understand. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> doesn't say it's you. Um. um now that I think about it, your entire planet will die with your crimes. But the two of you in particular will truly suffer. Oh god, I can't be probed. The ambassador lunges at you. I got a virgin butthole. Require challenge! Fight the alien ambassador. Stab him! Win, move forward four spaces on the psychic scale. Go to story card 147. Oh shit. Lose. Okay. You raise. got this per? No, oh, Sonya's good. gonna do it. Good. No, oh, whatever. It's a fist. It's a we, fist. We so got it's plus, plus two. two fists. Yay! Yay! You rush outside with the stuck that tear gas gun up his anus. Oh wait, it's a crystal. (laughs) Does he have one? Might not have a butt. No. (laughs) You rush outside with the professor just as a massive fleet of crystal and flying saucers sends through the clouds. If only I had finished assembling my doomsday device. The professor the professor laments. Wait a sec, you say? You were working on a doomsday device? Well, technically, what? it was a defense against doomsday devices. Dude's but device. if you point it in the wrong way, it will definitely blow up the planet. You really need to remember to point it in the right way. The largest of the alien ships stops the blow of the manor and hovers in midair. But it's all for nothing, the professor continues. Without my balanced conduction capacitor, my quantum synthesis stabilizer, and my hypersonic isotropic resonator, all is lost. Nice. Say that again. <laughs> Without my balanced conduction capacitor, my quantum synthesizer stabilizer, and my hyper hypersonic isotropic resonator, all is lost. Alright. Marty. Nice. If you have clues 92, 96, and 102. We have 102. We have 102. If you have clues. If you have one or two of the clues, go to card 143. What clues? 92, 96, and 102. 102. Alright, 
there's nothing we can do to stop them, the professor says, eyes wide. Earth is doomed. He glanced at an egg-shaped ship parked on the lawn. Your eyes follow his. Instinctively, you both make a mad dash for the ship as the UFOs begin firing lasers down from above. This thing needs much more fuel, and it's going to leave Earth's gravity. The professor sees... The professor says one of your... <laughs> what? The professor says once you're both inside, he frantically empties his pockets into an open compartment on the ship's dashboard as the ground outside the ship begins to buckle. Quick! Throw everything you've got into the fusion reactor! We have two 9-volt batteries. <laughs> if you yeah, have, boy! If you have 12 or more clues with the phrase keep this item in your inventory, go to card 151. If you have fewer than 12 clues with the phrase keep this item in your inventory, go to card 152. Not all of those. One, two, three. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, 151. We have bad. Yeah. Chapter That's what five. It sounds That's what like. it sounds it's gonna be like. us and that scientist in the middle of space. Thanks for all the fish. We're gonna have to repopulate a, the moon <gasps> or something. Chapter five. Goal achieved. That should do it. You strap yourself into the seats and rocket through Earth's atmosphere just in time We're to gaze out of a porthole and see the planet break seat. apart and explode in a blinding flash of light. To Your ship city. is rocked by the resulting You're shockwave, right, but survive impact. I guess we're the only two men left. We had to repopulate the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too bad they're not two breeders. One's not a breeder. <laughs> Everything. Everyone, you mutter. Unable to fully process the magnitude of what just happened. It's all gone. The professor's face is ashen. He suddenly flips open a little plastic cover on the console to reveal a button underneath. Someone has stuck a piece of masking tape under it with the handwritten words, Faster than light drive. He shoots you a questioning glance. Punch it, you say. There's nothing here for you now. The professor pushes the button, and you head into the infinite vastness of the universe. And unsure of what out of the fate airlock. awaits you. The end. Game over. Yay! Yay! I'm very unsatisfied Wait, is that with that. that a win? I don't know if it's a win. We lost our home planet. But we're, we're we got responsible call. for the death of billions of people. We are. There's, There's no point acting so ex- surprised about it. Exterminating all sorts of animals. <laughs> Poor animals. Your planet has been slated to be demolished for an intergalactic highway. <laughs> Thank you for all the fish. Oh. We thought that most of you were sweet. <laughs> so what did everybody think? Fun? Sort it of. was a good game. I don't know how much we're going to be playing it. After this, I'm all yeah, for it kind of seems like it's Earth. good for one playthrough. All right, I thought it was pretty fun. It was fun. Yeah, it's a lot better when you're. It goes a lot faster because we're not. What did Nick say? We're not ten. <laughs> <laughs> I right. give it a give it a nine. Good reading comprehension. I give it a nine. It was pretty, pretty good. Pretty fun. Chop, chop, cheerio. <laughs> right, governor. Little sport of tea before you finish your story. <laughs> Are you a pikey? <laughs> <laughs> like dags. I like dags. <laughs> you want a caravan and get no fucking wheels on it for. 